CataractCoach.com. The challenge of the baby Rexus. Faco is much more difficult with a small capsule Rexus. Now, I guess certain here is an expert, and he's doing the small Rexus for a specific reason. It's an intumescent white cataract. You want to do the double Rexus technique, but I'm going to show you. This surgeon is going to remove the entire dense white cataract through that small capsule Rexus. So I'm sharing you this case because I want to emphasize to our young doctors, young residents, if you've done less than 500 cases, hey, I'm talking to you. I want to emphasize that you do a baby rexus, it becomes much more difficult and challenging to do your nucleus removal without damaging the capsule. You can do it for sure, but it takes your surgery from relatively straightforward to far more complicated. Now, this surgeon is doing that baby rex at the beginning just to decompress the capsule bag, prevent that Argentinian flag sign, prevent it from running out, and this rexus will be enlarged later after I want insertion. But you see, you have about, have about a four millimeter rexus there. So sometimes residents will do this all the time because they're so worried about radializing that rexus. Now, let me show you this surgeon who is an expert. This is not a resident. This surgeon is going to do a fantastic job of chopping. Look at that, within the confines of that small four millimeter rexus. So using this little chopper or hook to do a vertical chop technique, this is not easy. So you barely buzzing in the probe, getting a hold of that, and really getting a split here. And you see how small the pieces are. You just can't chop it into two halves. There's no way you'll get a half out of that four millimeter rexus. So this surgeon's not even doing quadrants, probably chopping this thing into eighths. So many sm chops to divide this nucleus into many small fragments. Now these small fragments can be removed. Now they can be aspirated and brought up through that small four millimeter caps rexus. So listen, if you've got great skills like this surgeon, for sure, do the four millimeter rexus, no problem. But otherwise, if you're a resident, this is July, you're trying to learn FACO, do not do the baby rexus. There's even a video on Cataract Coach. Oh, you got to check that one out called The Curse of the Baby Rexus. And if you go to cataractcoach.com, not YouTube, you'll be able to see that video and see exactly how things just go south for a resident who makes a baby rexus. So please don't curse yourself. Don't make a baby rexus. Now here you can see the pieces are coming out pretty nicely. Obviously a very talented surgeon, after the nucleus is chopped up into like eight or so pieces, each of these small pieces can be brought up to the iris plane up through that small capsule rexus and he multiplied pretty easily. But you know what else is gonna be a challenge? Cortex removal is even tougher. Now, if you use a bimanual approach, cortex removal may be a little bit more straightforward, but a coaxial cortex removal, let me show you, is kind of tough. Coaxial cortex removal can be difficult. So here, the surgeon, ah, very smart, is doing a bimanual approach. So infusion in the right hand with the phaco probe, the left hand is doing aspiration. So this is the, the irrigation aspiration. But even then, look, to get up under there, look how the rexus has to stretch a little bit. Not easy to do here. Here at the end, you can get the lens in. And let's see what we got here. There's our lens. Get that in the injector. Get that delivered inside the eye. And then this surgeon is going to do a nice technique of enlarging that rexus. You don't want to leave the patient with this tiny rexus. Sometimes they're more prone to anterior capsular phimosis if you do that. And you can see there is still some cortex there underneath that paracentesis. That may have to be removed at the end. So here, putting that probe in the eye to fixate it and getting the eye well in the capsular bag. Let's get that thing dialed in there. And you can see it's a little bit more effort, too, because of how small the rex is. you got to get that big lens through that rexus. Now you can see definitely it looks like about a 4-millimeter rexus because that optic is 6 millimeters. And so now the surgeon's going to make a couple of little nicks in the capsule or edge there and then probably using some forceps and going to enlarge it. Look at that. Pow! Enlarging it. So now enlarging to the desired size capsule rexus. So a very nice case, beautifully done. But I want to remind young doctors, young residents, do not make a baby rexus. You need to have a big five millimeter rexus. If you want to have, if you have a very, very dense cataract, it could burn us and rock and even bigger, five and a half. At the end here, surgeon does a beautiful job sealing up the incisions, taking on the viscoelastic, and now you have learned the lesson. Unless you are an expert like this surgeon is, do not make that baby rexus. Make a big one. Thanks for watching.